<laughs> Welcome to your favorite Mega Mart shopping show. Ladies and gentlemen, we are excited because it is, of course, the holiday season and we have reasons, of course, to be happy. Am I right, Kim? We have a reason to give thanks. Absolutely. We have reasons to celebrate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, and we are in the mood, I think. Yes, we also have reasons to invite uh, our guests. Here. Good people. Yes, yes, yes. She's Welcome no stranger back to the to set. Our set. Chef Samantha Thank George. You. How are you? I am good. I'm merry. Did you get great feedback from our last episode or a competition that you I did. I yeah, we were buzzing up Instagram. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Definitely. That was so much fun. It, it was. was. It was. Like, when are you guys doing this again? <laughs> hey, um, it's up to you, you know, because uh, you I'm look like with, you're ready for the challenge yeah, one more time. Yeah, I'm coming back with, you know, <laughs> some guns. But you, know? you did great <laughs> and Chef Everald did great. And yeah. it, we it liked was that. exciting. It was. It was. I loved it. Um, one of my favorite episodes for the year, actually. Yes. So, Samantha, so, how are you? What are we doing today? It's Christmas. I see everything set yes, up. Yes, I am bringing the cinnamon and the Christmas pine and everything on set today. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you guys how to do two must-have Christmas sides on your dinner table. Yes. I'm making this for my Christmas dinner. I'm doing candied carrots mm -hmm. and a classic potato salad. So the potato salad is definitely a go-to, but yeah. I've never heard of candied carrots. So what you, are you candied carrots? what it is? Essentially, it's carrot with a sugar coating on it or sugar syrup, which I'm going to demonstrate today. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I remember making this for my boss at this cafe and he was like, I didn't know carrots can taste so good. All right, so I'm going to uh, jump into our potato salad. Classic, every Jamaican probably should know how to do this, but I'm just going to give you a couple tips to know how to get the perfect potato salad. Okay. So one is use waxy potatoes preferably. It's the smaller potatoes that are a little bit waxy. Okay. Yeah. It, the smaller the word, ones. Yeah, the small okay. ones. So right. they hold up a lot better when you're boiling it. I boiled mine whole, just keeping a more of a potato flavor, and then I cut it up after. And you don't kind of boil them out too much, right? You Not too much. You don't you want, want it crumbling on you. It's still be firm, but fork tender? Yeah, okay. fork tender. So you boil it well salted water, meaning it should taste almost like the sea. Oh, okay. 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 So that's going to be well seasoned, and then that's pretty much it. So We're gonna what go are with your the... staple ingredients for a great potato salad? Um, for the classic, definitely eggs. Lots eggs. of eggs. Mm. So you put your hard-boiled eggs in. Um, onions. I'm going to use onions and scallions for this one. Scallion mm. for the garnish. But, and make sure it's well salted. Okay. So that's pretty much it. And then you have your mayo. All okay. right. So another tip is to make the dressing first separately. And then you taste as you go along. So you make sure the flavors are going on right. And mm. then we add our potatoes in and mix. All right. Okay. One tip I like to also do is, as my potato is hot, I add onions. So the heat kind of brings out the flavor of the onions, oh, so it's the infuses. oils. Ah, okay, nice. I, I got that right. word from yeah. you. So let's get into this one. Absolutely. Okay. So you're getting started on your dressing, you said? All right, so I'm gonna, first? I have about a pound and a half of potato pre-cooked. Mm -hmm. And for that, you're going to need a good amount of mayo. So I'm going to do a cup and a half, maybe two. I'll see how it spreads. Right. So that's I one. One thing I learned as well was that you should allow your potatoes to cool properly. Is that true? Well, definitely for the mayo. Okay. Because the heat is going to just, it's going to turn into a soup. Mm -hmm. oh. And we don't want that. But I add my onions while the potatoes are hot. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's, that's quite a bit of onions there. Yes, I like the strong onion flavor. Mm -hmm. so come through. It just makes it a little bit more piquant, just more interesting when you're eating it with the curry goat and your ham. So I have about a medium onion diced really fine. And then I'm going to add some salt, a couple of pinches. Right. Maybe half a teaspoon. We'll taste it. It's very important to taste as you go along. And we're just going to stir this around. Mm -hmm. So you still add salt to that, even though you we salted the potatoes, potatoes, potatoes are salted. Right. So it's really important. In culinary school, they teach you to season every step, at okay. every stage. Okay. So, but it's important to taste. So I got that in. I have some celery here for crunch and just to give a nice I like the earthy flavor the, of that the earth celery. Of celery. I love mm -hmm. celery. Mm -hmm. um, you can leave it out. That's fine. So I did about a quarter cup of celery. Mm. Okay. So I have four boiled eggs. I'm just going to pour it in. You could use less, but I really love the eggy mm -hmm. flavor. It kind of give it like a salty I actually like taste. eggs in my salads. Delicious. I love it too. I have some snow peas for extra veg. You know, up the nutrition factor. All right. <laughs> Green is in. That is something new. I would and it's going to add crunch and color. Snow peas. Nice. Uh, it's a nice way to get kids to eat veggies as well. Once it's masking it mayonnaise. Right. right. Mm -hmm. They'll love it. So let's do a quick taste to see if it's enough salt. I think it's good enough. Okay. All right, let's pour this on. Ooh. That looks very creamy that and rich. That looks creamy and rich for sure. 
And you can do this recipe for macaroni salad as well. I, mm -hmm. The exception is I add ginger and a little bit of sugar in my um, dressing for macaroni salad. I like potato salads too because you can do them ahead of time. Yes, you can. It's, it's good for at room temperature. Mm -hmm. As You're well right. as, whoops. You can put it in the refrigerator as well. I like to do it like a night before. The night before, put it in the refrigerator because I feel like it tastes better the next morning when it chills overnight. Mm. I don't know. That's yeah. how I feel. And then bring it to room temperature when we're about I, I to I think eat. it's just important to kind of the, the, the prep. So to this me, is looking nice and creamy. Don't you guys agree? Absolutely, agree. absolutely. All right. I'm and to me, the, the, the pre-prep is actually where the magic is. Like if you, if, you have, if you have everything there. Laid out. Yeah, then you can start getting some in, and in it's more less creative. Too. Yeah. yeah. So that's the key, guys. Pre prep. <laughs> that's the key. Pre prep. All right, let's start and with some more. As usual, all the ingredients we're using today. Right here from Mega Mart. Available right here. <laughs> um, and we promised in the last episode as well to share with you guys some serveware and dinnerware that we have. Yes. In stock, and we can't wait to share those. And Particularly we're because using, there's some new stuff here, yes, right? So our team did an excellent job and we unpacked just in time. Mm -hmm. So there's some fresh stuff on the shelves and we're going to show you guys in a little bit. Yes. Um, and some disposable as ones best as, as well. As possible, right? The disposables are, are, are actually we quite nice. We also have some hard plastics or melamine mm. um, so you don't have to worry about breakage. Yeah. Um, you know, you have some touchy feeling fitness. <laughs> um, are you talking about my kids? Don't talk about my kids. <laughs> are you talking? never. <laughs> never. Uh, um, so we're going to share those with you. And Chef Sam took a walk through the aisles and she has some favorites as well. So she's right. going to tell us um, what her favorites are. All topics. right, Chef Sam, you walk the aisles today, huh? All right, so we're all mixed up. Let's show you how to plate for our potato salads. A nice big, um, Oh yeah, she got one of our nice, nice, brand new ornamental plate. is really mm. nice, a nice china. You could use this oval, you could do circle like this one. This she is a nice semi-deep dish. I love blue. Okay. I like, like blue. Just pops. Well. Nice. I don't like so, the blues, but I like blue. Okay. <laughs> so typically, traditionally, you have some greens. You could use pak choy. I'm using some iceberg lettuce. Nice green colors. Okay. To contrast the potato because it's mostly white. Mm -hmm. So you just lay it around the plate as so. Make so sure to keep it off. recipe and plating lessons. Mm -hmm. Yes, a little bit of plating. Could you put like baby tomatoes anywhere in this or no? You could put tomatoes on the side, like on top to the corner of the potatoes. For so some mm -hmm. colors, yeah? Yeah, but we're doing leaves for the base of our plate. Okay. So very easy. It's going to add a nice contrast and intrigue to your dish. And let's get a spoon and just dunk everything on. Yeah. All right. Go. That's nice. That is really nice. That's really pretty. So we want to pile it high for height. Looks nice and looks rich. You just want to dive in, right? Lots of protein in there. Yes, I could see that on, uh, on the Christmas table. Oh, yeah. table. We I decided on doing <laughs> sides today because a lot of times people already know what they're going to make. So you know you're going to do a ham, you know you're going to do a roasted chicken, you're going to curry goat, oxtail. Fish probably for the fish, main course. Yeah. yeah, maybe some pork. But then you wonder like, okay, what am I going to serve this way? For the or sides. if you get invited to a dinner, mm -hmm. you don't want to go with you too long on. So you right. say, all right. Walk with something. Other yeah. than a cake or a wine, what can I walk with that can also be served at the dinner? So a potato salad probably is a great it's option perfect, to take yeah. along Absolutely. with you. And it's good to walk with something when you're going to somebody's house, particularly during don't the holidays. Don't walk with it too long, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just Remember, if you something. want to walk with something, you can't. You, you don't have the time <laughs> to do a salad. Always you can come to Mega Mart and pick up two of our wines, beautiful wines from yes. the wine collection Put we have. Put it in a nice wine bag. Ah, uh, there you go. You there know, you go, yes. Walk with that. That's right. Or grab a fruit cake to go. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to drizzle on some sliced scallions. Scallions. Nice. And lastly, some smoked paprika. Mm. And Even what nice flavor smokiness. do you get from a smoked paprika? Definitely smoke. It's almost like a barbecue. Okay. On the nice. plate. And so definitely another layer well. of flavor again yeah. and yeah. color. So there we go. It's I would call this a new classic potato salad. A new classic. The yeah. new classic. <laughs> the new, uh, the new, new classic. So, I have to take a close up of it. It's nice. It's really, it really nice. Let me show it to you, Kim. And of course, right. you have to take a picture because if you don't take a picture, it didn't happen, right? Mm. <laughs> That's beautiful. That is that is that is really really nice. That's Look at Instagram it. worthy. Yes. 
So we have one down to go. Let's quickly show you guys how to do the candied carrots. All right, she's this on a roll, people. This is for the sweet tooth people. This is for the sweet tooth people. So let's get our... So again, you're going to pre-cook your carrots. Okay. You could blanch it, you could... Um, this one is steamed, just to retain more flavor and okay. more the nutrients. Or you could roast them. Mm. Okay. All right, so that's ready. We're going to get some heat on our pot. I'm going to show you how to do a quick sugar syrup. It's, you could call it a gastric, but I'm not adding any acid to it. Or it's like a basic caramel sauce, but I'm not doing milk. We're right. learning lots I'm just of doing new terms water. today. I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm just kind of gastric. trying to open my brain to take it all in. <laughs> right. All right, so I'm going to do some butter. Big, a lot of butter. I love butter, I love butter. can I tell you? So that's the base. I'm going to melt my butter and brown it just a little bit to develop a nutty flavor. Okay. Mm. I love brown butter. I, I use it a lot in my catering. <laughs> so doing about half a cup, I'm going to let that melt. All right, so we have our brown butter mm. and we're ready to go. All right. Start our sauce. We actually we smell it from here. It smells great. Yeah. It's good, right? <laughs> so we're going to do about a cup of sugar. Uh-huh, and that's brown sugar. Yes, mm -hmm. and to this I'm going to add some water. Okay. You could use rum, you could go bourbon mm. if you want. Rum sounds good, right? Rum sounds very good. That's just water, yeah? Yeah, just water. Okay. So I'm actually doing half a cup. A little less water than the sugar, and I'm just going to stir. OK. And let's get it back on the heat. So you're adding more sugar, or that's, that's it? That's it. We did uh, a cup of sugar and about a half cup of water. And we're letting it, it's, it's reducing right now. OK. So you, ca you can see the bubbles. Yes. It's sticking. It's it definitely is. It is. There getting you go. So we're waiting for more viscous. syrupy consistency. Syrupy, what I'm going to do, a quick test is just coat the back of a spoon. And if you see that it's. You run your finger across it and it's separating. Yeah, like, that's, like that. That's good enough. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> so we, we're there. <laughs> Guys, it's so good. All right, at this point, if you let this cook too much, it's going to turn into candy. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, so yeah, it's going to get really hard enough, on you. We have enough candies right here. So we see the bubbles here. It's nice and syrupy. We're going to turn reduce the heat. Mm -hmm. OK. We're going to add our carrots. It's about five medium carrots pre-cooked. OK. And just give it a stir to coat the carrots. I've never, never, ever seen this before. The carrots aren't cooked all the way through. You still want them to be a little crunchy? They're both, yeah. Al dente is good. OK. Um, but if, if you prefer softer carrots, that's fine. So these are a little bit over al dente. So they're pretty soft, but not mushy. OK. So these so. are almost going to be like, like carrot sweeties, right? Yep. Candied carrots. There you go. I think that's a, a, a sneaky way to get kids to eat carrots, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so probably think it's candy. Sure. And believe it or not, guys, it's ready. Awesome. I added the cinnamon and nutmeg. I'm just going to sprinkle some cranberries in there, some dried cranberries. More sweet. More sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and Healthy just give that a quick stir. Yeah. And we are ready to plate. I'm going to put some into this beautiful cast iron pot. Mm -hmm. The black contrasts nicely against the orange. So we'll do that. And to this, you could add cinnamon sticks as Ooh. well. You could do cinnamon leaves. Right, right, so right. You put a little bay leaf in there. An interesting flavor. If, if, you leave it, if you leave it, will it kind of ferment a little bit if you leave it like even in the fridge or something? It wouldn't ferment in the fridge. No. But if you left it out, it would. OK. It would just harden a bit. Yeah, yeah, just a and bit. And I guess the flavors will deepen the, the cinnamon mm. and everything. So I'm just scooping it That's in. That's really pretty. If you I have left the kids jumping into this set, yes. for sure. Nice. That is nice. Alrighty. That's different. Let's I, turn this I, off. I didn't think about that. So. All right. So I've added some tangerine rounds. Mm. You could squeeze some of the juice on that. That should add a kick of flavor as well. The tangerine. Definitely. And. And she's going with the time. Grate, you could grate some of the tangerine skin in there mm. for the rind. I'm and gonna so add some a few sprigs of thyme. Again for color. Listen, you know herbs, as I told you, herbs are like one of my most... You're two for one today. Delicious yeah. recipes and some plating tricks I'm from the experts. Let's okay. do a few sprigs of the thyme. There you go. And then we have some roasted almonds. Hey! <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. Voila. Mmm. Do you see the steam? That looks really, really good. I can tell you. We're ready to dive in right here, right now, right? I need a spoon, not a fork. Yes. 
So Samantha's going to throw off all the healthy regimen that I've been trying to keep up. <laughs> What, I'm sorry, but after sorry. the year we've had, mm -hmm. we're allowed to indulge right. a bit. Right, which means I'm going to have to come back to Mega Mart to get some exercise equipment. <laughs> so um, as January pops I in. would just say moderation is key. Um, but thank you so much, You're uh, welcome. Chef Samantha George. Always Excellent. A Excellent. Um, and of course, she's kind enough, so she's going to share this recipe with us. So be sure to follow us on social media at yes. Mega Mart Jamaica on Facebook and Instagram for all the recipes and the behind the scenes mm. of Christopher drooling over this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this last recipe. I'm, I'm thinking about the um, the plate I'm going to get <laughs> so after we finish the shoot. But that's bowl. really great. Um, but Chef, before you go, we, we spoke about earlier your top five Ingredients. Um, ingredients to have in the house yes, or in your pantry for the holiday. <laughs> oh, this is difficult. But here goes. So for Christmas, I would say for Jamaican people, sorrel is a must. It's multifunctional. You can use it to make sorrel drink or you could make a chutney out of it for your ham. So True. sorrel is on my list. Mm -hmm. um, there's cinnamon. That's, you, I you give need, it. Need. That's Christmas. Okay, cinnamon. And then I had butter. Uh -huh. for the baking and for the brown butter sauce that I love to make. Mm -hmm. And what else is there? Two more, right? Yes. Two more. The other one was, oh, herbs. Fresh herbs, thyme, cilantro, rosemary. Those are some stalwarts in the kitchen for anything festive. You could garnish with them. They add color and more flavor. And the last one number five. is... Number five. What was number five? Is number five cheese? Not no. cheese. Alcohol. Alcohol, okay. Yes. So you have your rum. Yes! Your wine. <laughs> Um, bourbon, whiskey, they make amazing, um, they're really great flavor it, characters. It's a must, it's a must. It's a must. Yeah. It's a must. Your sauces, you do your braises in it, your stews, your beef. Yes. Alcohol is a must for Christmas. Mm -hmm. You can that's also take a sip throughout the day while you cook. Right, right there. That's, that's it right there. Sip responsibly though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at home, you're at home. Come on. What are you talking about? What are your top three things for Christmas? Top three things for well, Christmas? Ingredients. Ingredients are, are, items. Yeah, items. Ingredients are out of my league. I'm, I'm not gonna, it's out of my league, guys. Items. Definitely Christmas cake. Mm -hmm. People call it fruit cake. I know you picked that. Um, yeah, I um, have to have that. Uh -huh. um, I do like sorrel for Christmas. Okay. Actually. And. Drum roll. You only said three, right? Yes. <laughs> Narrow it down. So it's, so it's, well, we, we said alcohol already, so I definitely have to have alcohol. Okay. But definitely like a big Christmas meal is my thing. Okay. A big Christmas Multiple meal. proteins, yeah. yes. That sounds like ham must be on the table. Multiple. Ham, well, ham, ham, ham would definitely ham be is on a must, my list. Yes. Sorrel. Mm -hmm. Um, eggnog. Eggnog. I love, love, love eggnog. Yes. A good eggnog. Eggnog. Um, cloves. I love cloves. Mm. Um, and I'd go with cinnamon as well. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you, there go. you go. Yeah. Yeah. And gifts. In my house, if nobody's unwrapping a gift, especially the young ones, the most, my son's gonna be like, "This is not Christmas." <laughs> <laughs> so like, Daddy, this is not Christmas. <laughs> what a gift, gift set. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, right, as we promised, we're going to be sharing with you guys some really great pieces that we have in store for, yes. serve, for serving or holiday entertaining. I saw them. They're really, really they good. They are really nice from, um, what do you call it? Crack Tupperware. Rate? Yes. Tupperware. Tupperware. Yeah. To the hard plastics, to the disposables. The disposables, yes. And as usual, we're trying our best to show you as much as we can, but nothing beats coming to the store yourself. So head down to your nearest Mega Mart location as soon as possible because mm. they're going quickly. And the prices are... Amazing. They're like, amazing. They're really, really, really good, good prices. Like, I, I, and not only that, but the quality of the products that you get for the price. For the prices. That's what I'm talking so. about. In fact, the, the disposables, Yeah. we were just talking, you know, off camera. And I was telling her, those are disposables because, mm -hmm. you know, I'll be using them over and over again. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Well, yeah, Some of them are so good that you can literally use them over them again. Out. Wash them out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they're, they're good. Am I right? So you'll be getting definitely money's worth. Yes. yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I and use them until I can't use them anymore. Like <laughs> somebody <laughs> just said, all right, I can't show that one. <laughs> it looks bad. <laughs> and of course, Sam is going to show us her top three picks from our new arrivals. Yeah. So stay tuned. Sam, thanks again. That's great. I'm going to remember to do that one for sure. They are uh, really, really delicious recipes. Let's look at some stuff. Yeah. So as we mentioned before, guys, we're going to be looking at some great serveware pieces. Um, how to go about selecting some good essentials or staple pieces for your kitchen and then building out around that. 
-hmm. And I think you're a great person to help yeah. us because you take some great pictures, um, some great food styling pics. So we have some great pieces here that are from Gibson Home and I think they're perfect for like a big roast stuff. Love yeah. the white, love the white stuff. Absolutely. They're it's classic. Like a, yeah. What would you say about these? Um, well, there are a few pointers I would say you should take note of for your festive kitchen and serving at dinner, mm -hmm. right? Um, so color is a big thing. I usually go with standard white. That's classic. You can't go wrong with a nice bone white. There you go. Or full white. Yes. Um, pay attention to the size. So you go, if you're doing like a turkey or a big like roaster, yeah. you would go with something huge like this. Not too much space because then the food is going to get lost yeah. on the plate. Mm. Or but you probably have to, to size. fill it up with um, with garnishes. With so you garnish. could do something leafy like with a potato salad. Oh, like so it lettuce. looks like that? We looks did. like that one there? Yes. Yes. So adding fruits and flowers, even fresh flowers that are edible, yes. right. you to, around the circumference of your uh, the meal, whatever protein that you're using, um, or starch, adding flowers and fruits are really It just completes really it awesome. for me. The and pictures. it makes it festive, you just feel yeah. good. It's and now, attractive. I mean, everybody's yeah. taking a picture for Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. um, especially if you, <laughs> you're using um, <laughs> ingredients from some good um, manufacturers. You yeah. want to tag them or you want them to repost your recipe. So you want your pictures. Yeah, to we want good. to just kind of push forward brand Jamaica. So it's a really yes. good way to do that. Another tip I want to give you guys is pay attention to height. Okay. So you have your Christmas cake from Mega Mart. You know, you don't just put it in a container on your table on a regular plate. You put it on a nice cake pedestal. I love That's this nice. One. A cake stand like this. Color. Yeah. Is Color is also a good one. So apart from white, I recommend like these soft tones, these earthen tones, like this muted green or blue. I love blue. And it comes with the lid. Yeah, so you can cover it. Keep the flies away. <laughs> or <laughs> sticky hands. Yes. Until we're ready. The kids Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me with a sticky, sticky hand? Hands. I don't understand. Sticky I'm just. I'm, I'm. I'm not even doing anything here. <laughs> I'm learning. So I love this. I love it as well. Yeah. This uh, is that's, I'm, that's, I'm, that's I'm, nice. I'm transporting this immediately to my top three. Transporting it to it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, we also have some essentials or mm -hmm. kitchen basics, classics. I think every yeah. kitchen must have. Bake Guess these are one of them, right? Bake yeah. mm -hmm. Yes. So these are good for your casseroles, your macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say definitely one of this you have a smaller size so go with two different sizes that's good yeah yeah and then for leftovers glass I prefer we're glass gonna leftovers. have leftovers right? so mm -hmm. it makes sense to go with like a value pack then if you i didn't see that. yeah i know that's why i'm here guys yeah you know <laughs> this is a good one but if you're if you already have some right and you're just topping up then mm -hmm. you could just grab one to right go. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah absolutely and of course so as you nice. said we're gonna have leftovers Leftover ham, beef to make your beef sandwich the next day, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna need to store those properly. And you have Ziploc bags. I'm also and big fan of Ziploc bags. bags as well. All right, I just want yeah. to show you guys this quickly, just to add to what you guys are looking at. Yeah. How we stay. What do That's you think? That's your pick. No, I'm just looking. I, it, 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 it drew my eyes. So. I would top this up with this create height with more chips. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I want to kind of skip that all this way because we also have some great plates yeah some flatware they're just colors. packed out yesterday and i think these just scream holiday colors mm -hmm. yes lovely I love she the has texture. her blue she <laughs> it's like blue. A, is this blue or blue green or, or like, like navy blue teal, maybe. or a teal yeah, yeah. this yeah. is really good he's just this. looking like the whites are always classy, which is why yeah, I'm, I'm looking at some of the whites, whites right but if you want a pop-up color then yes yeah this is a definite go to yeah I'm looking at some that's down there that looks quite almost arty. Oh, this yeah. is brand new. Absolutely beautiful. I love this. This is really. What would you serve in this? Potato salad. You mm -hmm. can do the ham and this is a small ham. Mm -hmm. Oh, like a picnic ham. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or beef. A leafy green it's salad. Beef. Slice uh, pot roast. Yeah. For chef's ham, there is a blue version, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> or you could buy these too. They, I like I them because they they're almost like they're handmade. Kind of. Yeah. Very, they got that look. It has an artisan feel to it. Yes. Yeah. Quite. Very abstract. I love it. So if you're looking yeah. for some great pieces, yeah. then yeah. And of course and you could go with a big steam fish and something like that. You know oh, what I mean? Yes. Something like me. Yes, Come on. You could. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Or a veggie stew. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> um, and we also have these great, colorful. Love those. And they're in three different colors. Mm -hmm. 
love those. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. You could Absolutely do a theme gorgeous. with this by going yes. with mm -hmm. all like six orange or six blues mm -hmm. with the rice, your potato. As yeah. a creative, I could easily see something like this to on like a wall mount and you have like something to hold it in. And or you have, you all have three. open shelving in your there kitchen. There you go. Yeah. And you could then just you do could something like that display. and showcase them. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. So, <laughs> he's taking over. He's, he not, he's, the, he's the artistic director. <laughs> we had these textured bowls on set today. Mm -hmm. Those are nice. Absolutely yes. beautiful. And the butt we're getting to is beautiful and careful. Um, it's a really, really great set <laughs> um, from Martha Stewart. And I yeah. think the price wow. is just a steal. Mm. For the value that you're getting. Yeah, and I the love the quality. These. A beautiful floral design. So maybe it will appeal more to women, but... Mm. And it's a, it's a whole set, like, it you can actually... Mm -hmm. Actually, I think this is a great gift idea. If you have... Definitely. ...a family member who is the hostess with the most sets, mm -hmm. this would be a beautiful gift. It's I a good price. I especially love good how price. delicate everything feels, especially this cake stand. Yes. The petals are well painted. It's very delicate and nice. It mm. is nice. Ew, this is really great. And the price is but just... Christmas, Easter. Yes. It's classy, too. There's yep. a nice classy kind of vibe yes. to it. Look at this. How beautiful That's would that nice. look in the kitchen, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we looked at some cer ceramics, but they're also hard plastics or melamine and disposables yeah. um, for easy entertaining. And we're going to show you guys that Let's right go. now. So Let's we see. have an entire end cap of mosaic um, pieces and it's easy, elegant, entertaining mm -hmm. for a reason. It's easy because they are, well, well, they're made from plastic. They're durable plastic and they're lightweight. So that's what makes it a little bit easier. Right. And if you're so inclined, you can throw them out. You can throw after. them out. But you throw them out? Really what? Inclined. Are you crazy? <laughs> 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 Look at the quality of these things. No, 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 no. We're going to wash them out and then put them right yeah. back up, right? That's so they're wine do. glasses, they're serving spoons. Um, these are great for desserts. Yeah. Right. They're single, made, single serve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kim, come on, feel these things. Are you, are you, are you crazy? Feel that. That's like. That's, that's a hard plastic. That's worth there. washing out yeah. <laughs> using again. And um, I like that they have the gold and the and silver plated. Right. I, I, I can understand these. I can understand using ones. these once. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. That's like a harder set. cardboardy feel. Yeah. So it's like a hard paper. I think paper. it's bamboo, right? Bamboo paper? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And it's recyclable. It's eco friendly. Recyclable as right? well. Really um, good. And it's microwave safe. Awesome. So awesome. These are great. Environmentally friendly, microwave safe, and disposable. So we have lots and lots of options. And of course, for bakers or caterers yeah. who will be doing a lot, we also have your disposable foil pans. Um, to make it easy, we've pulled a lot and we have some here on this pallet drop, different sizes. So you can select the options that you want along mm. with the covers as well. Um, so of course, we said that you'd tell us your top three picks from our new arrivals. So let's go. Top three would definitely be the Remember the Brand, the blue uh, um, cake stand. The, oh, the greenish it's color. Almost greenish, green, yes. The Gibson home, yes. Or um, then I will do the Martha Stewart set. The Martha Love Stewart that. set. And the last one. I gotta go with my disposable. What about the fancy the, disposables? Okay. All right. Let's talk to I'd say that artisan. Piece I thought you were going with the artisan. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. you were gonna go with that piece. That nice gray. But you artisan. only gave me three. You almost making it hard for me. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the right. nice art artisan. Um, yeah. Um, serving where is really good too. I awesome. think so. I'll be like number four. Yeah. What would you pick? I like the artisan piece. Uh -huh. um, it's interesting because the Martha Stewart, she said it, but it actually jumping out at me. You do? Yes, yes. See, jumping out at me. <laughs> uh, we're still um, working in right, Mega so Mart. But I also all like the, time. the white, clean, yes. classic, classic pieces. Classic pieces. Yeah. So it's up to you, whatever your style is, mm -hmm. um, then we have something that will be great for your kitchen. Um, whether you go for modern or a farmhouse, or a classic. classic. Yeah. Um, we have styles here for you. So come to Mega Mart. Merry Christmas from Megamart, the best value by far.